so every morning I fill buckets um, <coughs> these water containers from this IBC that is filled up by the new well that I have and then I carry the buckets of water to the pigs. So I do this morning, afternoon and evening. Just pouring some water into their wallow but they are so curious. Well, three little piglets that have come. One is checking out my foot. Ow! But they're coming to see what I'm doing. Always. Yes. He's just pouring water. Just pouring some water into your wallow. Ow! Ow! No! That's my toe! No! Don't chew my toes! Oh my goodness! A huge bag of sawdust has finally arrived. OSB sheets are over there behind the top so I can now put in a ceiling and insulate it and I can now start the sawdust making the mortar for the cordwood wall. Are you managing to actually get into the ground there? Yeah. You've only got to find it. One spot. Softish spot. Maybe fix it back here and there. So that he can't pull it out. Because yeah. that's the thing that he's doing is he just lifts. You can see how he's just lifted that pole right out. Yeah. We need to. Yeah, we need to take all this apart. And, Straighten it all out again, and we'll go from there, from this post to there. Okay. But we need to get this frame first. Put those two in there for anchors for a piece of wire. So we'll put <clears throat> oh, that might be on. We'll put some wire around these. So you're going to anchor it straight into the rock over here. If you fix the wire to the rock, then you can't lift it up, can you? Yeah. So hot.
I don't have big sticks. Okay, well, I don't have big sticks and I cannot lie. I know it's big fat too. Okay, so Nick has put this here, so are we hoping? Well, the wire here is fixed to the rock. Yeah. This post is about a foot in the ground. Yeah. This one's a foot in the ground. Also tied down here and here. So that's really solid. Okay. Right, and then the wire is obviously stapled to it. Uh, a piece of timber has got the two big rocks on it. I don't. Maybe it might be a bit of a deterrent. But yeah. I mean, the, the, you shouldn't be able to lift it because of the the wires fixed on the rocks anyway. So. Okay, let's hope so. So you say, what do I need? Calthrops. What the hell are calthrops? C a l t h r o p s. Mm -hmm. Invented by the Romans. So it's like a sharp pointed uh, object, if you like, whichever mm -hmm. way. So they used to throw them to stop horsemen and cavalry and stuff like that. And they always land with a point sticking up. So you can't walk over the ground that they're on. So you need to sprinkle them all the way in the... <laughs> <laughs> so Nick has covered the IBC tank for the pig's water to keep the water in there cool. He's working like a Trojan today in this stifling heat. Keep the sun off the water. Else it'll be uh, hot water. Yeah, you know the thing is when it comes out of the pipe it's boiling, eh? Yeah, so you need to shade it and then it'll be fine. So the green pipe is fine. So it's not doesn't seem to be getting hot in the IBC tank, it's getting hot in this um black pipe. In the what? In the black pipe. Yeah. Yeah. It's always gonna do that, but uh, you need to shade. This where it's stored is just going to get hotter and hotter. Okay. But when you refill it, I, you need to do it in the mornings. Yeah, we usually do it in the mornings by eight, at eight o'clock. The uh, pipe's not hot then. Yeah. But this, when this pipe's full of water, it'll be really hot. Yeah, it was boiling water coming out. Yeah. The pigs were jumping when I was squirting it in their pen. Yeah. yeah. We nearly had cooked pork. <laughs> so this is um, the tap that Oreo had broken off. I'm going to try and unscrew this and put this plug back in. See if I can unscrew it. Look, I'm actually managing to do this all by myself. So I just got to screw it until it's not going to be able to be screwed anymore. So when Oreo trashed this, he seemed to like really dig this part into the sand. So I'm just trying to get it. Like, you can see over here, they've actually lifted this right up over here. The barbed wire has done nothing. Look, this post originally was at most to the very tip, mm -hmm. 300 mil in the ground. Yeah? Oh, wow. And that's not going to hold anything. And yeah. I've just dug a hole two foot deep. Look, you can see. Oh, wow. Look. So there's not rock there, yeah? Yeah. So there's no excuse for not having a hole deep enough to put your post in. Wow. So if, if the posts are only that far in the ground, they're not going to hold yeah. anything. So Mallow Pup is coming to check out. So I'm going to dig out a little bit deeper and we'll have to put two stakes in, like so. Yeah. But look how low they are, see? So I need something bigger. I'm on this barbed wire here, guys. We don't really need your help. Oh, Coco Pop is here as well. Yeah, we don't need your help, do we? It's George has come to check. <laughs> is that all okay? Yeah. Uh, it's best to work, work with since mid 40s. It's yes. <laughs> <laughs> so.
So when I put like rocks over here, I put baby rocks. Nick is doing serious rocks. Proper rocks. Yep, that should do it. I should have put it there before we moved the fence. Yeah. Oh my god. Nick is a weightlifter. Gee. <laughs> right, perfect. <laughs> Yeah. Because the fence is posted, uh, concreted in, we we'll just have to keep that there for now. But at least we've got a wall, like a dry stone wall there now. Eh? Yeah. So, let's just keep them in. All right. Perfect. So Meadow Puff thinks if she lies here in this little hollow with her eyes closed, I can't see her. This is on the other side of the fence. Nick is digging out some of the water mine to try and see if we can get it to hold more water. But don't I'm sit down. Wet. I'm going to get wet in a minute. I can see it. Oh! <laughs> oh my lord! Because <laughs> I don't know how deep it actually is down there. It's not that deep. Nick is a machine, I swear. It's 40 degrees out here and Nick is just like... Okay. You have to get my feet wet. Can you get your feet wet? I need to get in here. Okay. That'll do. Oh my goodness, look he's just climbing out like he's a mountain climber. Need to wash my feet. <laughs> Where are we going to get water? <laughs> I thank the good Lord above that there are people like Nick. Thank you so much, Nick, for giving me a day and doing so much hard labor. The heat was horrendous, but Nick never once complained. He is awesome.